Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to vlog. I decided to vlog my experience with Hurricane Irma. I posted a video actually earlier today on just a little mini fall haul along with, you know, Irma situation. So I figured I would take you guys along with me. Today has been a very busy day. It's been full of loads of laundry, cleaning, getting things inside, all that good stuff. So I am going to show you a little bit of what we have been doing. First, I will show you my little kitty. She's snoozing, she's happy. There she is, hi baby. So, let's go see. Oh my gosh, ignore my little bit of a mess of a closet, but. We put a comforter in here, so we decided if it starts to get absolutely crazy bad, we're going to be in there. Oh, look. Look, guys. Look. On a side note, Christmas sweaters. So excited about that. And then this is our outside so far. Like, so this is our what you would call like a lanai area in Florida. So we had to bring everything inside except for our grill and our plants we left outside you can see I'm gonna zoom you in on the neighbor's house we have been boarding up their windows like all day all day they've been doing that we unfortunately were not able to get bored so I don't know supplies is leaving very quickly it's hard to get things so here's our kitchen we actually have all of our outside furniture stuff inside so and our fridge I'll show you we've stacked up on some water and stuff like that just kind of Gatorade we don't really have any food which is kind of bad most of our food is in our pantry behind me but this is what we've got in here so we've just got kind of like water Gatorade lots of Gatorade because I don't know. You never know. You never know. We could be without like power, without gas. We just really don't know what to expect. So, <sighs> I don't know. But here's what it looks like out here. It's really not that. But here's the current situation. Not really windy. Nothing really going on. Just breezy occasionally. So here's a little weather update. Six o'clock in the evening on a Saturday. And here's what we've got so far. Look how beautiful the sky is. It's just so sunny and pretty. So this is where we're at so far, guys. I don't know. It's coming. She's coming. Irma is on her way. Yeah. I'm currently watching Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's probably one of my favorites. Sorry, I have food in my mouth. But... Probably my favorite one. So I want to show you guys what our house looks like when the sun sets because it's kind of pretty. So there's all these little rainbows on the floor and it's because of that chandelier up there and it leaves all these pretty rainbows all over the walls and on the ceiling it is awesome during the summer well it's still technically summer but during the summer we didn't have that it kind of went away because of the wear the um because of the wear <laughs> because of where the sun was setting but now that it's going in towards fall and winter and all that good stuff we have all these beautiful little rainbows so it's kind of cute cool all because of that with the sun I just want to show you guys how pretty the sunset is tonight. One of my favorite movies is on. That's the holiday. The best movie ever, just to get you in the mood. Good morning, everybody. So it is Sunday. It is 7.40 and today is the day of the storm. So it should be coming around 2 in the afternoon. And this little one has been quite the pain in the butt this morning. She woke me up at 6 in the morning because she wanted to be fed. What? Do you want your food? Well, come on. Come on. It's time to make some coffee. Which mug should we go for? Mm, 
let's pick this one. I like this one. We'll go for that. Pop that in. So I have to use stinking powder because I'm out of my creamer and I didn't get any at the store when we went. I'm so disappointed. Yay. So I am back. We are currently, well it is currently 1040 so a few hours have gone by. We actually just got back from my mom and dad's house. We were hoping that we could move a car that was there before the storm hit, but we were unsuccessful. We couldn't get the car moved. So we are back home now, and it has actually started raining. The bands of the storm of Irma are arriving, so that means like, it's just the top of the storm really that we're getting hit with now, which is really nothing so far. It's just raining. So I'll show you. This is what's going on. Probably really can't see much. Like I said, I guess the storm is moving pretty slow. It's only moving at like 12 to 14 miles per hour. So she is moving a bit slow, which means she's hovering over. I know she hovered over, I think it was Cuba for quite a while. Now she's reached the Florida Keys and going up into Miami now, but she's moving very, very slow. So she's not supposed to be here until... I guess it was supposed to be 2 in the afternoon. Now it's not until later tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. I hope you're enjoying this so far. It's kind of boring because I'm not really doing anything. I can't do anything. My original plans for the weekend was I had a hair appointment with my mom. We were going to do shopping, go to some fall stores, pick out some stuff. And I was going to bring you guys along with me for my first vlog. But everything got canceled. Oh, I do want to tell you guys, crazy. So on our way to my parents' house, my parents are only, I think, like two miles away from us. Literally, nothing is open. All the gas stations, like the pumps and stuff, are bubble wrapped and saran wrapped. Everything is practically boarded up. There is nothing open. There are no stores open, grocery stores, fast food. Everything that you can think of is closed. Nothing is open. It is the most insane experience of my life, like, so far. This has just been insane, like, quite quite an experience and it hasn't even hit yet. Look at my kitty. What's he doing? So it is currently 12.15 in the afternoon. So we're starting to get heavier rain now. Little bits of wind. So here's what it's looking like. This is our current situation. Not too windy, just pretty much rain. I've honestly been just having a really lazy day. So there's really not much we can do. So I've been watching Downton Abbey and I had some lunch. I had some broccoli, which is always exciting, with some brown rice and a pierogi. There was a thunderstorm that came in around two in the morning and I woke my husband up and I said, Irma's here, Irma's here. It wasn't, it was just, I think it was just a little storm that had passed by, but I didn't sleep very well and my kitty was waking me up all night. She wanted to be fed at like six in the morning. So I think I might lay down and take a quick nap because we might not get that much sleep tonight. So I just woke up from a little nap. I didn't sleep very long, but Found Pirates of the Caribbean on the TV, which is exciting. Yay! I love that movie. But anyways, so I'm gonna take you guys outside. It's definitely getting more windy now. Hi, Lexi. Wussy, hi. It's okay. She's not liking the wind, are you, little one? You don't like it, do you? You know. Tell them you don't like it. <laughs> Slightly concerned about the pool because we emptied a lot of the water to try and get it level. As you can see, it is already up to the top and winds are definitely picking up. So, what time is it? Let me tell you guys, it is five. And the new word is Irma's supposed to hit at 9 p.m. I tell you, every time I tell you guys what time it's supposed to hit, it keeps changing. 
perfect little fall treat. So I have a little caramel here and some green apples. So, so they told us to fill our bathtubs with water just in case our power goes out and then we have literally nothing. So we have filled our bathtub with water. So I guess if our power goes out, this just kind of helps. I don't know, we use it as bathing water, I'm guessing. And then they want us to shut all our inter interior doors <laughs> so that if, in case like the windows break from the wind or something like that, basically it won't cause a blast through the entire house that way. It's just kind of like focused on that, oh my God. My husband's putting, okay. We could not get sandbags. So this spring we did a major like project in our garden and we couldn't get a hold of sandbags. So what we did was actually use our leftover mulch bags and he's piling up mulch bags in front of the front door. That scared me, oh my God, so bad. All right guys, so that is what's happening here so far. I hope that, I really do hope this vlog is not gonna be like the most boring thing ever. But like I said, I had wonderful plans for a vlog and they kinda got changed, so I don't know. You guys are probably seeing little bits of my fall decor too. I still have to do that fall decor home video, but I'm not quite done. I wanted to go out, originally my mom and I two weeks ago planned to go out this weekend, like I said, and pick up fall stuff, just to add a little bit more. So that video will be coming soon, I promise. Before it gets too dark, I want to show you guys the condition outside. So if I wake up around midnight or so and it is not too, too insane outside, I'll show you guys what it's doing outside. But if not, I'll show you in the morning just to let you know how it is going. Well guys, we have lost power a total of five times. So she is definitely almost here and thank God we have a transformer, not a transformer. I'm listening to the news and they're talking about transformers. Um, we have a generator in our development and it's obviously very, very good because it has kicked on our power immediately after it's been shut off, but we keep losing connection with the news channels that we're watching on TV. <sighs> so it's definitely here. I'm going to show you guys outside if I can, if it doesn't look too like dangerous and crazy, I'll show you if it's like super scary. I'm not going, I'm not going. Mm -mm. So we are outside pool is just about overflowing. You probably really can't see anything. The winds are definitely getting strong. I don't like it. Do not like it. So I don't know how much of that you were actually able to see. I'm sure we'll be able to see more in the morning. I really don't like it. It's so scary. It's creepy, but it's not as bad as they were expecting according to the news. So that is a good sign. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Well guys, we have officially lost power. It has gone out probably eight times on and off and on and off and it is finally shut off completely. So that's where we're at right now. We're using these cute little little mini lantern thing so we are officially without power and it is 9 30 p.m on sunday so they said that the main part of the storm or the, like the heaviest part is supposed to hit us between 10 p.m and 2 a.m and then the rest of the day tomorrow we're supposed to be on the lookout for the surges is that what that's called mm -hmm. a surge so it has begun so I'm going to try and get some sleep now. I doubt that's even going to happen, but I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I literally just woke up. So last night oh my God, was the worst night or the worst storm. Sorry, my face is I literally just woke up. It was the worst storm I've ever experienced in my life. Like it was so 
windy and rainy and loud and howly and creepy but we made it we're okay we're safe and i'm gonna show you guys outside oh it's like seven o'clock in the morning oh well, well it's not too too bad i don't know is it safe to go outside i don't know i don't know i think it is well we're not flooded that's a bright note like Very windy, and it's probably gonna be that way all day. And it's really chilly, comparatively speaking. Usually we're in like the 90s here. I'm pretty sure it's down into the 70s. So pretty chilly for us. I'll zoom in and show you guys just like the branches that are down. But really, we are very lucky. So as you can see, there's just like little branches down on the ground. down there too but we lucked out so today's just gonna be a really really windy day but we made it we made it we are out of power we have well we have no power not that well that made sense yeah we're out of power are we out of power does that even make sense we have no power so that is that and I don't know we lucked out Hi guys, so I just wanted to do a really quick update. We now have power, which is really exciting, and it's really sunny outside and beautiful blue skies. We do have a lot of wind still, but our area was very, very fortunate. We, um, we definitely got lucky because other parts of Florida definitely got hit hard, and the islands I know in the Caribbean and all that, they got hit very hard, so... It's been quite an experience, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog, this being my first vlog. Definitely did not have intentions for this to be my very first vlog, but just so happened to work out that way. So if you guys did like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you want to see more vlogs in the future and all that good stuff. So I'm going to give you a quick glimpse of what it actually looks like outside. It's really, really windy though. But that is what it looks like now. Look how beautiful it is. Our plants took a little toll right there, but other than that, look at that sky. What a difference. So guys, that's really about it. I have to go into work now. I'm going in to relieve the people that have been staying there all weekend long so it's gonna be a really busy day today so i'll see you guys again soon bye what'd you think of that